I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Yo, what's up, all my beautiful people out there? Welcome back to AfterBuzz TV. I'm your humble, happy, and gracious host, Nate Harris, and today we're covering all things Center Season 3, Episode 5, and I'm not sure what the season title was when we looked everywhere for it. But Thanks. my name is Nate Harris, and I'm here with the perfect and the beautiful Perfect and, this, and beautiful. Yes, <laughs> Ashley Dior Jones. Wow, Say what's up to the people, girl. Intro. Hi, everyone. It's yeah, just so, late night today, and we are so excited to yes, chat about the show. We're so excited to chat about the show. It's going to be juicy. I love being with Ashley at the show because she's the most <laughs> dramatic center watcher in oh, the world. Stop. Okay? The center is a very creepy show. It is. But it's not a scary show, and Ashley treats it like it's The Conjuring every single week. So it's absolutely a pleasure to be able to go through this show with her. So we're going to break down this whole entire episode. Yes. We have so much to talk to you guys about. But first, we're going to talk about Jamie. Um, he actually confesses to killing um, Kyle, okay? De Detective Jones, she's all up in this. She's wondering if Jamie was at the scene, was mm -hmm. Detective Ambrose at the scene. So she's digging deep into this, and we don't yes, know what's going to happen next. But lastly, Sonia, we're starting to learn more about her. She yes. goes and she approaches um, Leela, Jamie's wife, but she also gets kind of in a romantic frenzy with Detective yeah. Ambrose. So we have so much to talk about. <laughs> so but juicy. to start it off, what were your overall thoughts of this episode, Miss Ashley? Oh, my goodness. So like I said, first and foremost, I knew Jamie was the killer. <laughs> I did. knew he killed the medium, who we learned his name was Kyle. Uh, poor guy. He was just doing his job and just trying to, you know, give – give Jamie a little extra attention mm -hmm. when he came back and he killed the poor sucker. So I was like, oh, that's awful. But I knew it was going to happen. Um, really shocked that Sonia had the balls to go up and talk to Leela. Like she came to this woman's house and was like, this is what your husband's been doing. I was really shocked by that. And then I really liked, I liked the last scene too. I liked seeing kind of um, Detective Ambrose kind of mm -hmm. come into his truth yeah. in a lot of ways, which I, I think Jamie kind of hinted on. So I thought I thought we've definitely had more episodes that had a lot more like drama and 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 murder and death and blood and sh shaking of babies and all that. So yeah. I'm kind of glad this episode <laughs> wasn't as creepy, but it still gave us some some good some good meat to dig into. Yeah. So I'm excited. The shaking of babies. <laughs> That's the funniest part you said. <laughs> I still can't get over that. That was awful. No, but I, no, that was great. You covered everything. Um, I, I thought that it was, a, it was a great episode. I thought that, again, it was not that much excitement and crazy yeah. things that were going on, but we learned a lot about a lot of the different characters. We mm -hmm. learned a lot about um, Detective Ambrose. Not a lot, but we understand More. that he has a deeper past than what's been showing us. And we've kind of been feeling that, but like there's no concrete evidence to yeah. it. Um, two, with Jamie, like we've never seen Jamie actually murder someone or kill someone. So the fact that they showed that, we, we he has all these dark thoughts and these dark feelings, but actually killing someone, yeah. he did that. But it also showed the sympathetic side. Like, he, like you can tell after he got done with that, he was like, bro, yeah. what did I just do right now? Right. Like what he did I actually do? Um, and then, you know, obviously we saw our guy, um, Nick, kind of hovering over him yeah. when it came to the medium. But overall, that was a great show. Um, we learned so much more about Sonya, but we still don't mm -hmm. know. And we still don't know what I Jamie still have some, did. Yeah, I still have some some feelings about Sonya. I still don't think, I don't think this is it to her. I think, oh, no. I think there's much more there's so much to more that Sonya. character than, than There's so much so more, far. and I cannot wait to yeah. see the development of her. But I'm excited mm -hmm, that they're too. kind of bringing that out. Okay, but let's start off with Jamie. Jamie kills Kyle. Of course, we don't see this to the ah, end of the episode. Dramatically, yeah. But at the beginning, we start off by seeing Jamie walking out with a bag. When you mm -hmm. first see this bag, and, and he has this plastic bag, which typically, in, from historically, when we're watching TV shows and movies, we think of that's when they put dead body parts yes. in a bag or yes. they're trying to get rid of things. What did you think when you saw this bag? I was like, either it's the body or it's the murder weapon. <laughs> and he, because he dumped it in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean,. I was I knew I knew what had happened and I think I think most of us knew what what that was about like mm. we knew it, that he had just killed this man and he was trying to get rid of the evidence. Well, I I did too. But see, I always when I watch these shows, I always try to like double do like whatever they show us and and whatever we're going to naturally think is mm -hmm. going on, I always try to take it a step further. So like, yeah, they're going to show us that. Yeah. 
where it looks like Jamie killed him. He's trying to get rid of evidence, but it's like some crazy spin somewhere else. That's why, I ne- like, you were right last week, but that's why I was like, I was right last I'm sorry. week. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm giving never gonna let you live that down. I'm giving it to her. She was right, <laughs> but I, I just didn't believe that they would actually show Jamie killing someone this mm-hmm. early. I thought that, it, I didn't, I, I think I said it was Ambrose, but I didn't think that they were going to kind of get that deep. I thought it was going to be the girl that invited him to the party. Just yeah, like a he did say that. Spin off. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, it was it was weird that I seen that at the beginning. But again, I thought that they were kind of just showing us that to kind yeah. of get our mind thrown off. The Sinners does a great job by literally showing us switching one thing up. and switching it up completely mm-hmm. on the opposite side. So they did a great job by doing that. Agreed. But let's take it to, like, actually when they show the flashback of Jamie actually leaving his home. Detective Ambrose okay. ends up falling asleep in front of Jamie's house. Yes, okay? poor guy. So they have this crazy house. They have this crazy night. Mm-hmm. Detective Ambrose takes him home. She takes some p- painkillers mm-hmm. because of his back. Because of his back, knocks him completely issues. out. Okay, mm-hmm. wakes up in the morning, six a.m. Now he realizes there's a dead body. So he's been in front of Jamie's house all night long. Jamie had to have left, but we don't know if Jamie's left or not. So Detective Ambrose is really shocked, like, what's really going on? Mm -hmm. But they finally show that Jamie's walking outside, sees Detective Ambrose, and is like, okay. And he continues to go back to this party. What do you think about this whole scene And when he's interacting with this medium of Kyle? Um, so the whole medium thing, I thought it was very interesting that he felt the need to go back. Like, Mm -hmm. we kind of touched on that last week, and it's, it's like, what what other information did he want to know? Because initially he was like, he was trying to get out of there. Like he couldn't get out of there quick enough when, mm-hmm. he, when he met with Kyle the medium first. But it was just really inter- interesting to me this time that he wanted to go back and learn more. So it was like, but this was definitely more private. Mm-hmm. He wasn't like around a lot of people like in the first mm-hmm. time that we saw Kyle. Yeah, I was gonna, not to cut you off, but that's what I was going to ask you. Do you think that it was because people are her around. He didn't yeah. want people to like. Yeah, that's what. For, go ahead. For I didn't. I didn't think he wanted his truth to be exposed. Mm-hmm. You know, to to outside individuals. So I guess that's why he went back solo dolo mm-hmm. to kind of talk to Kyle one on one and be like, what What is Nate really trying to tell me mm-hmm. from the other side? Yeah. You know. So I think I think that's why he went back. He was dying to know, or should I say, killing to know. <laughs> So, okay, and I agree with you. So at this point, there's a guy, okay, and this guy, Kyle, was just like, he gets overwhelmed. Whatever's energy and spirit and whatever he's feeling from Nick, yes. he gets so overwhelmed. Why do you think he's feeling this at this point? Like, why? Like, what, what is he going through? I think? have no idea. I mm-hmm. have no idea, but the fact that the fact that Jamie went through the depths that he did to figure out what he said, but still didn't hear what he said, yeah. like, that was kind of baffling to me. I, I was like, why would you kill him before he said exactly what you what you wanted to hear Mm -hmm. so it's like he was even saying wait wait stop like he could have had a moment to where kyle could have like explained what nate was trying to say but i mean jamie just got overcome with you know whatever whatever spirit was over him and and just killed the guy and i was like well that was that was silly like you didn't even get what you came for well a couple things that i noticed personally okay one was we keep we have this theme that whenever Nick, or he has these flashbacks or hallucinations or whatever mm-hmm. you want to call them, whenever Nick comes into the picture, he always says a couple things. Um, you know what you're supposed to do. You have to face death. You have to look it into the eyes. And it was like another quote that he said, and just like, like you, ha- you have to look into the death. Oh, mm-hmm. then he brings up the phone again. Yeah. And that was a very metaphor, like, thing where I was just like, Okay, the phone was brought up in the first episode mm-hmm. when it's like, grab my phone, grab my phone. And it kept getting brought up whenever they showed different scenes. True. But it's like, what does this phone mean? What does you have to face death mean? And what does you know what you're supposed to do mean? And so, at all the times when he said this, he didn't do anything, though. He didn't actually go on and kill anyone. He had hallucinations of killing someone. But do you, do you think that he didn't kill, kill Nate at that? I'm sorry, Nick at that moment? Remember when he was like... No. He was in the car and he was like, just don't call the police. Don't you, you don't think that was him basically killing Nick? I, I mean, yes, you can look at it that way. But I mean, more so, okay, the baby situation. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he's talking about dropping the baby mm-hmm. and then Nick takes the baby out of his hands. Mm-hmm. Okay. He didn't 
that was a hallucination, and mm-hmm. Jamie didn't actually kill the baby. Right, right. Okay? The next time, it was when they were in the hospital with the old man. Yes, mm-hmm. he puts his hand over his mouth, and he almost killed the old man, but mm-hmm. he didn't actually kill true. him. True, very true. Jamie has not, and then and then you see the scene of them digging the hole, mm-hmm. and Nick's, I mean, Jamie's just like, hold on, Nick, like, we can't, I'm not ready to kill someone, yeah. like, what are you talking about? So, Jamie hasn't taken this actual, right. realistic step, where mm-hmm. now other people are involved, where, like, dude, you actually killed someone. And he did this time. Mm-hmm. So now, does it change the dynamic of his and Nick's relationship? Maybe. Has he beat death? Has he defeated Maybe. death? You know? That's the things that I wonder about. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't seem too happy about it. Like, after after what he did, he didn't mm-hmm. seem like he felt any better, had any less guilt. Like, I felt like he had a lot of remorse mm-hmm. after after killing Kyle. So, I... I like, but we haven't heard very much from Na- from Nick after the killing. So maybe maybe he had to kill someone to get Nick off his back. I don't know. Well, you have a great point. Now that I think more about, is he okay? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because think about it now. This whole episode that we watched today, this the episode we saw today was typically pretty much the day and a few days after he killed him. Because mm-hmm. then at the end of the episode, it shows a flashback of him killing him. Mm-hmm. But even after we saw him throwing the trash away in the ocean, mm-hmm. then he's with his wife and he's all happy. He's with the baby. Mm-hmm. He's explaining to her what happened. Mm-hmm. Lying. His spirit was pretty good the rest <laughs> of the episode. If you really think about it, like when he sits down with the teacher, I mean with the principal who's trying to put him on leave, mm-hmm. like he's just like, I'm going back to class. Everything is good with me. I'm going back to class. Yeah, but I'm that's good. not a normal thing to do. Like, After if you kill someone? I mean, but if your boss brings you into the office and, and is basically saying, like, we're letting you go, like, what normal person is just going to be like, nope, I'm staying. I'm going back to my class now. Whatever you say is literally okay, going boy. I'm, I'm not listening. He, I feel like he just kind of, like, let everything, he just kind of let everything go. At least at least that's what I felt. Yeah, because, I mean, even when he, when he, when he um, interacts with the student, Julia, yeah. I be- believe, when he interacts with her, he's just like, forget everything that I said. Right. So maybe, I don't know. Maybe he did defeat this death. I don't know. We're still know. trying to figure yeah. it out. What do you guys think? Let us know. <laughs> yes, we please no let idea. us know. Uh, with that being said, um, go to YouTube right now. Comment. Get into the chat. Get into it with us. Just like, subscribe. All you have to do is go to AfterBuzzTV.com, um, YouTube, The Center, After Show, and chat with us. We like friends. We like to be we in conversation friends. with you guys. So come see us and come talk to us. Okay. <laughs> so we have we have that. Detective Jones, okay? Yes, who I love. Oh, you love this her. This is her first episode, oh. and she came in and just like shut it down. She if did. You ask me. She did. But since you love her, I'm gonna act like I don't like her, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> just cause, uh, okay. because I liked her too, okay? But let's okay. talk about Detective Jones real quick because she did come in and she did handle her, her business, right? Mm-hmm. And she was like, "Look, I'm not playing around with none of you other people. Right. I know you guys have weird things going on up here, but th- we're gonna do this my way." Right. So initially. Um, she's interviewing so many different people, and, and she comes to the school. She interviews Jamie, and and in that scene, Jamie kind of feels confused, but he feels like he's confident. Like, yeah, I went to the party. I was with so and so. I left at this time. And lying. Then, yeah, just lying. <laughs> and then she starts bringing out evidence. Well, so and so said that you were with Detective Ambrose, and he's mm-hmm. like, okay, I was with him later. Well, did you leave? Like, when did you leave? And and then she starts backpedaling. What do you think about this scene when she first initially had interaction with Jamie? Uh, I think she was trying to pull him out of his hole, honestly. I don't think she knew as much Mm -hmm. during the first interrogation, obviously, but I feel like after she talked to Detective Ambrose and got that evidence from him, then she started to like dig a little deeper and Mm -hmm. had to come back and be like, but you lied about this, and you lied about this, and you lied about this, you know? So I think she had her ducks in in a row from the beginning. Um, and I think she was just, I think she was just taking her time in developing the case, you know, mm-hmm. which is, you've got Detective Ambrose where he's like, do this, do that, hurry and do this. He's going to kill again. And she's like, wait, wait, yeah. this is my jurisdiction. This is my case. Like, I'm going to handle it like I want to handle mm-hmm. it. And I'm going to take the proper steps to figure this out the right way. Because eventually she was like, I don't even know if I can trust you. Yeah. Because basically you... We're doing... Yeah. Uh, you so know. you bring up a great point where I want to go to. So do you think that the fact that Detective Ambrose did go in there and was giving all this information to Jamie actually hurt him in the long run? I think it may have. Because mm-hmm. he could have just like, oh, he's just covering his own tracks. Yeah. You know, he's just giving this... Ep- ep- he's giving this evidence so, you know, we don't follow his scent. Because, mm-hmm. you know, he could have just as easily 
you know, committed this murder because yeah. he was just sleep outside. He doesn't have any alibi. You know, we have no reason to believe. I mean, other than that, you know, he's a, a detective, you know, that he didn't commit this crime yeah. or help commit this crime or, you know, do something to not prevent this. There's so much. Yeah. yeah. There's so much. And and that's and that was my only thought with, with, with Detective Ambrose. He always gets too deep into things. Oh, so And then he's deep. not open enough about what's really going on. He's very, like... He has like tunnel yeah, vision, you know, like in a like lot of he should have went in there and to all these people, like even again as they're tracking his phone. And I get sometimes when it comes to police work, I I don't get it. I don't think it's ever okay. But I understand like sometimes okay, I have to tap his phone just to see what's going on. Okay, mm-hmm. based off of this wiretap or however we're tracking his phone, maybe I find him doing something wrong that I can't prosecute him on. But I just want to know what this guy is up to. Yeah. But that got you into a situation that you <laughs> yeah. may not be able to get out That's of. That's true. So he puts himself in this situation, but then. Time fast forwards a little bit. And she, he gives him. She he gives her timestamps of when he was leaving the house. Mm-hmm. He knows for sure that he did it. Yes. Okay, but, but no. we didn't even talk about like when Jamie actually confessed. No, I mean, to, oh, we're getting there. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get there. So Jamie. So then now she brings Jamie back in. Mm-hmm. Okay, and Jamie confessed to Ambrose at the, mm-hmm. by this point, but mm-hmm. he has not confessed to her. No. But now Jamie's in there wondering, hmm, you're asking me all these questions. Now you have these pictures of me, you know, leaving at this time, and you have, you know, all this evidence against me, but I'm not arrested right now. Yeah, you don't have anything to hold me on. You have nothing to hold me on, so why am I really here? So I think at this moment, this is when Jamie's sitting there thinking, hmm, I may possibly have the ability to spin this away from me to Ambrose, or maybe totally. not to Ambrose, but just... I can be scot free from this because totally. they have no clue what's going on. So, mm-hmm. what do you think about this last thing before she even starts investigating Ambrose and what he's got going on? I mean, I think that I think that he definitely knows what what he can play. Mm-hmm. I think he can def- he definitely knows like what he can do and what his options are because he did get rid of the of the murder weapon. There weren't any um, like nobody saw mm-hmm. what happened you know so it really could go any way and I think he's, he's a smart guy mm-hmm. like he's starting to see that you know I did something really bad I may you know I feel bad for it but maybe I can get out of it in mm-hmm. some way shape or form you know so we'll see we'll see if he gets away with it I hope not because mm-hmm. I really do I appreciate Detective Ambrose's passion like yeah. he is very like, like I said he has that tunnel vision but man when he he was with that man mm-hmm. all night in that crazy, crazy night that we witnessed last last mm-hmm. week. You know, and that takes that takes a lot of guts. Yeah. That takes a lot of spirit. That takes a lot of like strength. You know, so I, I really appreciate Detective Ambrose's passion for for what he does. Sometimes he does go a little bit too far. He but does. So then let me ask you this: Do you think that Ambrose? No. Do you think Jamie? When he first confessed to Ambrose, where mm-hmm. he didn't really say yes, I killed him, but he uh-huh. basically was just like. Dude, I made a mistake. Yeah. You know, he's kind of giving him off this energy. Mm -hmm. And then Ambrose is kind of questioning him back, but he kind of still doesn't, he can't definitively say, like, yes, I know that you killed him. And Jamie starts questioning Ambrose. How do you know that? How can you prove that? Do you think is that when Jamie realized that I can really get away from this? And this, because and after that, that's when he was at the school and the yeah, t- people maybe. were invested. He was like, I can get away from it this easy. That's, possi- that's a possibility. That's a possibility. Mm-hmm. I didn't think of it that way, but it could definitely be the case. Yeah. So I, I, yeah, I think Ambrose ruined everything. I think that um, they're going to get to the bottom of it, but I think Jamie's going to completely get away from this. Like, he's not <laughs> really? in trouble. Yeah, he's not getting in trouble. Wow. Um, they're going to. This is when the transition of digging deep into Ambrose is going to start. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to start learning more about his past, as, as we're going to talk about later. Yeah. And then, um, but yeah, this is the beginning. He ruined it all for himself. Um, the cops are against him. They're 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 going to start putting holds on him, like they did about um, even investigating Jamie and that whole situation. And I again, I feel bad for him because it's like he wants to do the the right thing. He wants to yeah. do the proper thing, but he doesn't um, he doesn't want to open up to people about it because yeah. again, they're going to look at him and be like, hey. You're crazy. Yeah, and he doesn't follow the rules, you know, oh, like yeah. getting that illegal, the illegal wire stuff mm-hmm. and, you know, not going in the in the right protocol. Like, that's only going to mm-hmm. make things way worse yeah. for Ambrose in the future. So okay. so transitioning a little bit, let's yes. talk about our girl Sonya, because Sonya's been one of my favorite characters from the start. Same. And I'm like, I, something's going on with this chick. I don't know what's going on with her. But what do you think about Sonya coming to Leela and opening up and telling her all these different oh, things about Jamie? Oh, bold. How bold to come in a woman's place of work and to tell her <laughs> about her husband. Wow. Um, the audacity. The audacity. You know, but I, I'm glad Leela Would you knows. believe her? 
I, I would believe her. If, if I were Leela and Jamie were my husband, yes. Just because he's been acting oh, yeah. so yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. Like, he didn't come home one night. We have a brand new baby. Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's not normal. Um, but I do think Leela finally needed to know, like, what, what was really going on. Because Jamie wasn't seeing anything to her. Detective Ambrose wasn't sharing anything, to, anything mm-hmm. with her. And her husband's been acting very out of character. So... You know, I'm sure she feels like really lost in the situation. So I'm glad she's been brought up to speed Mm -hmm. and is taking, you know, taking the proper steps to protect herself and and her baby. But I am interested in uh, he talked. Jamie talked about remember the shit that went down two years ago. And I stayed with you throughout that. So I was like, what is that about? Mm -hmm. Like, what did Leela do that? Yeah. So that's my question to you. You you... have so many questions for me. Yeah, I do. Because it's like. (laughs) What what do you think that Leela actually told her? Actually told who? I'm saying it wrong. What did Sonia actually tell Leela? What do you think? I think she told her what she knows. Just I think she told her everything that she told Ambrose. What is that? That her and her husband or that her husband and Nick like were on her property and dug a grave mm-hmm. and that's where Nick died, like all of that. And even about the murder in Brooklyn cuz she Sonia said that. She was like, oh, I even told her about what happened in Brooklyn, and I probably shouldn't have done that. So I think she told her what happened. I don't know. Because of the f- when, when Jamie was, like, explaining to her, like, everything, like, what, out two years ago when this stuff happened, like, I, I was, it was the hardest time of my life, and I stuck by your side. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think that – I think that would have been way more if she told her everything that happened. I just think that. I just think that she kind of let her know – that her husband may have killed maybe the mm-hmm. guy. This I I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry, God. I don't know. <laughs> That's I just, okay. Nobody I just don't knows. think that she told her everything. I think that she That's just gave a her a glimpse. And then Leela is just like confused. Like I just need you away from me right That's now because very, if you are a killer, very plausible. Um, I need you away from my child of or whatever. Course. Let me right. just ask you this though: in that situation, someone ke- comes and tells you something about your man, but then you call your man's best friend or one of you a family friend. Mm-hmm. Do you think that that was the right thing to have him there in that situation for them? Yes, well, I think Leela had him there because she didn't feel she was safe. Scared, yeah. yeah, like of course, of course. I was so mad. At that and guy. I think we're gonna get more into that because the teaser kind of showed that for the next episode, mm-hmm. um, just a little more into Leela, and maybe we'll understand what happened. But if a woman comes and tells you, you know, that your husband has done all these things and he's been acting crazy lately, like of course, I'm gonna take every pre- precaution to protect Great myself and my baby. I just want my woman to let me come home and explain myself. Women First. as in multiple? I said woman. <laughs> You're just checking. It sounded like you said So, women. baby, whenever <laughs> I find you, if someone lies on me, let me explain myself. Okay. Thank but you. she has, she can listen, but what she chooses to do after that is I don't is think Lila listened. I think, she, I think she tried to listen. No, she didn't. Okay. She can't listen with another dude standing sitting there. Okay, the other dude is like a friend. He's not, nah, they're nah, not nah, like. Nah. I'm not going for that one. But you could, hey, you're right. You're right. Quickly, though. Mm-hmm. Sonia and Ambrose. Yay! Finally. No. Uh, yes, I was. So I you're was, happy about this? Why are you happy about this? Well, I want I want Harry to have someone in his life, you know, because his last marriage did not work out well, and you know, Sonia, she's she's a woman of a certain age, and she's single out there living all alone. Like, I think they could help each other. I think they could, you know, continue to live a happy healthy life with one another just because like they know they're getting to know each other and they have you know they have some similarities i'm with it i am super with the sonia harry situation and i'm so glad they kissed i'm so glad harry initiated it and she was like oh i like that like hopefully he'll find love she's playing him. he's searching for something she's playing him also a possibility Oh, a factability. A factability. I don't know if that's a word. It's a fact. I know for a fact. (laughs) Sonia is, I'm telling you, Sonia. Tell me what you think about Sonia. I don't know. Why don't you trust her? I don't know. I just think that all this weird superhuman, supernatural spirituality stuff that's going on, Sonia probably is the one who put this on to everyone. That's, that's why they're acting this way and she understands that and mm-hmm. so she understands how they're moving or she may be the cult in the, like, like I don't know and it's bothering <laughs> me I don't know but Sonia I- I'm on to you girl like I'm so on to you okay and lastly before we wrap this thing up Jamie goes and sees Ambrose's grandchild 
gosh, showing up at a man's house while his grandson <laughs> is there, completely inappropriate. <laughs> completely. How do you feel about this? But Jamie's a good person. Is feel, Jamie a good person? Yes, he Jamie has a great someone. heart. Jamie has a great heart. So what do you think about his last uh, scene? I was I was happy, but ex- uh, shocked to see um, Harry actually like choke Jamie out and, and then have Jamie's reaction. Like, finally, the truth comes out. So I kind of I kind of understood in Jamie in that mm-hmm. moment because we we all have that you know we all have that moment. Yeah. Are you gonna let it out? Or are you just gonna suppress it like you've been doing? Mm-hmm. So he finally let a little bit of it out, and Jamie couldn't be happier. Yeah, I'm glad that it showed that. I feel like now it's gonna dig deeper into their relationship. I believe they're kind of the same person. I don't know we if shall see. Ambrose Jamie thinks so too. is um, the same, but. I don't know. He may have some demons that are inside of him. Quickly, real quick, predictions for next week. Uh, predictions for next week. We're going to find out why um, Jamie stuck beside Alila uh, two years ago. We're going to find some of her like dark secrets and skeletons. And I just think Sonia and Harry are going to get closer. Yeah, I feel like we're going to learn more about um, Sonia for sure. We're going to learn more about Harry and his mm-hmm. past. And we're going to get a little bit away from Jamie. I feel like they revealed a lot about Jamie. He's finally killed someone. Um, ag- again, finally, <laughs> finally, again, the investigation is going to, you know, develop more. But we're going to start focusing more on Sonia and Harry, their relationship, their past, Love their it. involvement with all these stuff. Thank you guys so much for Thank watching us watch. today. Where can we find you? <laughs> Ashley Dior Jones. At Ashley Dior Jones on all social media platforms. Can't wait to chat with you guys. Yes, please hit me up. You can find me at Royal Nate, R-O-Y-L-N-A-T-E, N-A-T-E underscore don't forget the underscore royal nate underscore on all social media platforms we're so happy that you guys joined us tonight please check us out next week we'll be here next thursday 8 10 p.m for all of your center is recap bye guys bye. our founder kevin undergaro and me maria menounos would like to thank you for tuning in to after buzz tv remember we're not just the first we're the biggest in the world and we're the only destination for all your favorite tv shows whatever you crave we've got it so go to afterbuzztv.com and check out our lineup buzz you later <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of afterbuzz tv or its owners or principals